For our next bout, we go to the junior middleweight division. Stoneham's Greg Vendetti entering this fight with a record of eight wins, two losses, and one draw. Six of his eight wins coming by way of knockout. Takes on Hartford, Connecticut's Joe Wilson Jr., who enters this fight with a record of three wins, three losses. This is an intricate New England fight and a very interesting one at that, in my opinion. Peter Zimbor and Brandon Berry calling the action here from the House of Blues in Boston. Joe Wilson, one of his biggest wins as a professional fighter, came in Boston when he beat Maine's former nationally rated amateur Jimmy Smith. Can he do the same against Greg Vendetti? Vendetti has shown some vulnerabilities in the past. He has a loss on his record against a pro debuting MMA fighter in Pedro Gonzalez, and he has a loss on his record against Antonio Chavez Fernandez, who we saw earlier tonight. Has he improved? Can Joe Wilson Jr. expose some of those vulnerabilities? This is a very interesting fight. Vendetti wearing the solid black trunks, jabbing Joe Wilson is wearing the gold trunks with the red trim. This one is scheduled for six. And you'll see that Joe Wilson comes out as a southpaw. It's the third southpaw fight we've worked on, I believe. And he works off a jab, living up to his nickname. For the guy with the Vendetti style, too, a jab is something that you need to have uh, to try to hold him off because Vendetti is a uh, come forward aggressive fighter and a right hand by Vendetti did that put Wilson down or did he slip it looks like our referee Leo Gerstel is going to call it a knockdown Wilson appears to dispute that to some degree it almost looked like he was holding his head complaining of a possible headbutt or something I'm not sure Their legs getting tangled up a lot. And obviously, from the southpaw stance, it makes it very awkward. And Vendetti from Stoneham, Massachusetts, clearly with the crowd behind him. And every time he does something positive, you are going to hear this crowd erupt in cheers. As was the case when he had Wilson up against the ropes a few moments ago. One thing that you got to say about Greg Vendetti that's very positive, I don't think the guy's ever been in anything remotely resembling a fight that wasn't entertaining. He's a fun fighter to watch. Kind of stole it right out of uh, my mouth. I was going to say the same thing. It, you expect fireworks when Vendetti is in the ring because everything he throws, uh, I, I think he throws with bad intentions. The crowd likes to see a fighter like Greg Vendetti. I remember him in the amateurs. Actually fought alongside him at the Boston Garden. Nice left hand slipped in by Joe Wilson. Greg Vendetti started his career off as a welterweight and now competes in the junior middleweight division. When he was an amateur, did you and him ever find yourself in the same weight division or were you always a weight division apart and never met up in the ring? I think we are always a weight division apart. Um, I believe that he fought at... It was 47, or actually it would have been 52 um, in the amateurs, and I was uh, 140 the night that we fought at the Garden. But uh, I remember seeing him fight a lot. I was always a fan. I, I was always uh, always watching when he was in the ring. He fought similar as an amateur. He's just a little bit more polished now, but he was always a come forward, aggressive fighter. Now this is going to be an interesting round to score because technically Greg Vendetti did score a knockdown. With that being said, I'm not sure if he did enough following the knockdown for it to still be a 10-8 round. Do you understand my logic or am I off base, Brandon? Oh no, I, I agree with you. I I, uh, I can see the round being 10-9. I can also be, see it being 10-8, obviously because of the knockdown, but I don't think it was a... He wasn't very overwhelming other than the knockdown. It was a very evenly matched round. I think they were both uh, scoring equal amounts of punches. On my scorecard, I'm going to put it down as a 10-9 round for Greg Vendetti. As I look out into the crowd, the Dropkick Murphys must have finished their set at the Aganis Arena down the street because Ken Casey, vocalist and bass player for the Dropkick Murphys, is mingling with some fans ringside.
Round two of the scheduled six-rounder underway between Greg Vendetti and Joe Wilson. And Joe Wilson hits the canvas this time clearly, uh, not a knockdown. They both got tangled up and just sort of made his way to the mat. I think he was trying to hold on to Vendetti as he fell backwards. Not as a result of punches, however. And I feel this one heating up here in round two. You see Greg Vendetti actually coming off of the canvas when he's throwing some of these punches. I mean, he is trying to get every ounce of power he possibly can, hoping to land one of these blows. And Vendetti putting everything he has in these punches. I think he's having some success and... Well done. You saw referee Leo Gerstel one Greg Vendetti about a low blow, then a little bit of a delayed reaction as Wilson went to the canvas complaining about the low blow. A true low blow, you know, lots of times will give a delayed reaction uh, pain level. And uh, I don't believe that you know, uh, Wilson was faking that. I do, I do believe that was a low blow and he was uh, momentarily bothered by it. But back to action. Look at the physical physiques of both these fighters. Vendetti just looks like a guy who carries the junior middleweight weight class better body-wise. I was going to mention that a minute ago when you said that he made the transition to this weight class, starting his career obviously junior welterweight. Uh, he definitely, his body fits this weight class very well. His legs are very strong, very Tunic. broad shoulders. And Although he's not landing a lot of clean punches right now, he is having his way with Wilson, pinned on the ropes. Wilson seemingly comfortable fighting off the ropes, however. Snuck in a nice body shot to Vendetti, too, actually. Big, big, big punches coming courtesy of Vendetti. That left hand straight low. And I think referee Leo Gerstel warns him again. But he has to watch out for that since he's already been warned at least twice now. He has to be wary of a point deduction. Big round for Greg Vendetti, however. This is the type of round that would have made round one a 10-8 round if he would have applied this type of pressure after that knockdown. I agree with you 100%. Big round for Fendetti, but I'm not sure he has Wilson hurt. I think Wilson has caught most of, most of the heavy artillery that Fendetti is throwing on his forearms and on his gloves. With that being said, a definitive winning round for Greg Vendetti from Stoneham, Massachusetts. When you're absorbing the punishment that Joe Wilson seemingly was in round two, as I said, most of them didn't break through to land cleanly. But how much energy does that take out of Joe Wilson? Because you know it takes a lot of energy out of Greg Vendetti as he was the one continuously throwing punches for most of those three minutes. Definitely. It definitely takes uh, energy out of uh, both fighters. And you know, with Wilson laying on the ropes like that, although he appears to be comfortable and not being hurt, uh, it does take a toll on the puncher, especially in the later rounds. You know, I like a fighter like Greg Vendetti. Uh, you can see pretty simple attire. He's got the all black trunks, nothing custom, no lettering. Uh, you know, I think that he has a mentality he's here strictly for business. He doesn't care about looking flashy. This isn't about his appearance. He came in with a towel on. And uh, I think he's here just to get the job done. And Joe Wilson spun at least twice in this ring to get out of the way of punishment. This time a glove touched the canvas as he does it. And referee Leo Gristel correctly calls it a knockdown. 
think he was actually looking very closely at Wilson there and thinking about stopping the fight, uh, which I would not be surprised to see here. To Wilson's credit, though, he's firing back. I have to compliment Vendetti on his conditioning. I don't think he has slowed down at all. If anything, he's picking up the pace, and he's throwing high volume of punches, and all of them are very hard. I mentioned at the beginning of the broadcast of this fight that Vendetti has at times shown some vulnerabilities in his fights. Uh, any vulnerabilities that he had shown in either of his previous two losses, he has not shown at all in this fight. You know, just uh, recently being signed by Murphy's Boxing, it may have um, just given him a little bit more motivation to train that much harder and realize, you know, this is, uh, it's now or never, you know, it's time to pick up some big wins and move up the ladder in this division. This would be the best win of his pro career if he continues on the pace which he's on right now. I can't see him slowing down at this point. I feel like he's, he's actually getting more and more comfortable. And uh, you can see the gym time is paying off. There, there's no doubt that he must be a workhorse in his training. And any bad vibes he had here at House of Blues from that performance where he sort of came out flat against Pedro Gonzalez. No demons haunting him thus far against jabbing Joe Wilson. Well, Joe Wilson lands some shots here in round three. It's a guy like, uh, with a guy like Joe Wilson, you don't want to let him get uh, confident. You don't want to let him get anything going because... Uh, Again, he's a veteran of the game, so I think Vendetti needs to continue to keep the pressure that has served him so well so far. I was just going to say, very nice body shots as we see Wilson go down for the third time in this fight. Up quick. I would assume Vendetti's going to go back to the body. Can Wilson get out of this round? Just seconds left. I think he's going to escape the round. Very close to stopping the fight there. So a 10-7 round for Greg Vendetti. If there's any question about 10-8 or 10-9 in round one, uh, no such discussion needed for round three. Greg Vendetti well ahead of the scorecards at this point. He was about two punches away from uh, having might be stopped, I believe. Uh, we'll see what happens. He's going to have to get something going here in the fourth. If I'm the corner of Joe Wilson, as I send him off for round four, I take my time getting the stool out of the ring because he needs every valuable second to recuperate from the pounding he just took in round three. I might even unintentionally spill water. Oops, I'm sorry. Got to clean that up with a towel. I've definitely seen veteran moves made like that in fights before. My coach, Tommy Duquette, actually two fights ago of mine, I was fighting a veteran in Lewis and Maine, and my shoe came untied, and Tommy took his time retying the knot, and we laughed about it while he was doing it. It's just a veteran move to buy some more time. Doctor taking a close look here at Wilson, and I noticed him having a discussion with a referee a minute ago. They might be stopping this fight. Yeah, Dr. Edgar Bellina is taking a look at the eyes of Joe Wilson. And Dr. Bellina says, I'm going to let this continue. Watch for a stoppage to be made this round. I think that all eyes are on this fight now through the ref and the doctor to not let him get hurt. And here it is. That is it. Fourth is knockdown of the fight. That's it. All over. The corner of Joe Wilson calls a halt to the fight. Very good stoppage. No, no sense of taking him out. He was so far behind on the scorecards at this point. You know, what, what difference does it make? Very Greg good. Vendetti with the biggest win of his professional career. And he did it in good fashion. Uh, you know, this was a, a solid performance all the way around. It was a good win. Packed house under new management. Um, I think uh, we're going to see a good future here with Greg Vendetti in New England. And coming into play, as it came into play early in the evening, is the corner actually physically threw in a towel. Technically, that's something you can disqualify a corner for. I would hope 
that they do not do a disservice to Greg Vendetti and give him a DQ win because he earned a TKO win with four knockdowns in that scheduled six round fight that only went four. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a time of 17 seconds of round number four. Referee Neil Vestel stopped this contest. Your winner by TKO victory, Greg the Cannon Vendetti. So a fourth round TKO for Greg Vendetti. He's also 